40 degrees. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pushing my hair. <laughs> don't do your shit. It's hot. How hot? 40 degrees. It's hot. Freaking hot. It, it's so hot that we're going for a drive. Just to get it. <laughs> And I'm wearing the scarf because <laughs> <laughs> the seatbelt rubs on my neck. Because it hurts. it's cold, she's wearing the scarf. It's not cold. So oh. we're going to go to town. Um, no, no, we're just going to drive in circles around this lake. We might have a look at the museum and we'll see what that's like. Circles around the lake. <laughs> oh my god! And it's, it's not even not, on high! <laughs> not, um, not that hot there. Oh, Opera house. Now open. Some more information on the Great Artesian Basin. I think I know there everything there is to know about the Great Artesian Basin <laughs> at this point. Because <laughs> we read Everywhere. it all yesterday. And then. And then groundwater database. And then the day before. And this is the Opera House. So it's only called the Opera House because it opened the same day as the Sydney Opera House. Which is cute as anything. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's called the Opera House. <laughs> so it's just got photos of the um, history of Julia Creek, but it's air conditioned. It's cute. Oh. Okay, there's a guitar as well, but. It's out of tune. So, I'm going to fix it. Much better. Lay. And now it's ready for the next people to come in. So it doesn't sound horrible. Can't do much about the keyboard though. <laughs> And while I was playing around with that, Emma was probably filling in the book. I was reading, actually. Oh. And then next to this other side of the not amphitheater, what's it called? Opera. Opera House. They've got like tables and chairs and sitting areas and I think it's a, like, community hall. like a yeah community hall. Which is oh, it's a little stage. It's huge. Yeah. So it's probably where like the weddings, if they're not at the pub. Or, I don't know, maybe they do a school concert or something. Performances, they probably happen there. And then public toilets. No, they're not public Aren't toilets. Aren't they public toilets? No, they're toilets. I tried to go in there to get into shoes that damn story many times. <laughs> so they're locked. Okay, so public toilets are at the information centre then. Okay, so now we're at the Duncan McIntyre Bicentennial Museum. Looks pretty good. You got old stuff? They are so cool. <laughs> Moon rocks. They're natural. Are you kidding Creek me? Fire Brigade, 1962. <laughs> I think they're in there. Yeah, the birds are inside the cage in the shade. Oh, they just walk. Carriage shed. Oh, you can walk around there and watch them. Okay. Not sure how it would work. Oh, that's so cool. What's that? A washing machine? With a hand ringer. Yeah. To, so you can <laughs> not pull out dripping water. I just lent on that. That's hot. <laughs> oh, this is cute. That's art. Oh. <laughs> More machinery. All right, we'll check out inside. Oh, that's a good idea. All the families, past, present. Did you have this? And then, branding table with the McKinley Shire District. So many people have love hearts as part of their brands on their cattle. Mm. I love it. Another one, one, one. This next room. It has information here. 
Hmm. Spring collections. <laughs> Shelter shed. McIntyre room. I'm going to pause to read that. Has the bowls because there's a bowls club here. A big record player, little record player. A lot of glass bottles. And the tree stump. Look at the stone marbles. Focus. There we go. They're really cool. Communications room. There's all the radios, stereos. Switchboards. You see that better? Sheep shearing used to be a really big part. Now it's all cattle. So they got the different thread counts and qualities of the wool. Hearing room that you just read about. And more information on the Julie Creek Dunnart. So see how much of that you know from the previous information boards we've shown you. So they've got a visitor book. And, and they've got a donation <laughs> 40 oh degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Plants growing in the toilet. <laughs> so we just pulled up. We're going to go check the Julia Creek Friendly Grocer. See what they've got around there. And then we're going to go across the road to the Food Mart and see what they've got across there. $4.65 for two litres of milk and no price on bread. Whew. Pretty expensive. Expensive. And um, well, you, you expect that, but the fact that it's all just stuff bought from all this. Like, really expensive. So let's check out Julia Creek Food Mart. That sliding door is pretty good. <laughs> So we've just pulled up at the RSL display that they've got here and I know it's up to the path and I was like, oh, how cool is that? There's a gap. So you still got to get over the gap. <laughs> All right then. So they've got some pretty cool stuff here. Let's have a look. So they got a horse. Oh, train coming. Long. This horse is really cool. This is just out of sheet metal. So along this cute little walk. They've got posts along with stories from the wall.